All right, peeps. Welcome back to Minecraft. We're in Pet Corner here. Let's hop off our stall horse, exit through the little gate. And I want to go on a little rescue adventure here. We have ourselves a look over here. We see there's a poor little llama that's just big chilling all by itself. Don't worry, mate. Me and me cook chuck are here. We'll rescue you. Now, if I had a thought this through, I would have brought maybe our last who with us, but I didn't. So, you wouldn't mind just scooching over a little bit there, Mr. Llama? And I'm going to build you a little platform up here. Oh, I didn't realise we are going to end up in our little balcony here. Balcony basement. Just to be sure, we'll make sure that it's a nice big opening. And we'll say, Mr. Llama friend, do you want to come into me Basamonte? Why are you, D? Come on into me Basamonte, mate. I actually didn't take too long. I was ready to just stand there and let it play out forever. Well, let's quickly fix this. Oh, that was actually a deep slate brick. I thought it was a little slabby number. There we go. We'll gun up, get a lasso, have a bit of a kip. And then come and say good day to a mate here. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm up on the balcony. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to go straight back downstairs. Let's find out where the llama is. Hello, llama. You find any way to the beats? Well, follow me upstairs and we'll go take it to your friends. I and mean, one of your friends was actually your friend, wasn't he? Yeah. I think. I don't know if you'll fit through this door. Let's see. Let's see. Let's test it. Will Llama come through door? Llama will not come through door. Llama too lanky. Right, you're going to have to be careful here, mate, right? Knee stepping on the fire and then eating yourself off the cliff. Again. Because I know that's what happened. I know you yoked yourself off the cliff. So you come around here. Like I say, be big, big chill. You know, it's a tad precarious. But if you wouldn't mind making your way around this bend. No. Llama. Come out first. And then out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, 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 no. This way. Now out. Yes. This way. Come on. What if I just like come out here? Will it be like, I need to go around? Oh yeah, Lama's figuring it out. Why I? You're a bloody leg end, mate. You know what's up. All right, come with me. Come with me. You won't fall doing the axolotl hole. And I'll meet you where your mate's doing here. Okay, here's all your Lama friends. Say good day. And now we have a beige Lama at our collection day. The cats love them. Look at them all. <laughs> I love it. Let's sit on you, mate. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? What's going on? Get off his... office. <laughs> You're just used to lugging goods around, are you? Not having your trade. I sit on you. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Well, let's jump out this idea. We'll clean up our brick mess. And by brick mess, I, of course, mean stone mess. And we were just underneath here, weren't we? Somewhere? Yeah, there we are. There it is. Let's get rid of ye. And I mean, there's only one way off here, isn't there? You've got a job! <laughs> and gone for a bit of a swim. Look at that beautiful sea cave there, man. It's absolutely majestic, isn't it? Now, there is one thing I want to do. If we just nip underwater here. Let's use the bubble ladder to go up just to this level. Oh, well, I knocked my head anyway, but just to this level here. Don't want to go crazy with it. But this whole sea cave here, I plan to have a huge, awesome axolotl cave. Let's keep going up the waterfalls here. As the axolotls may do when they get in. But you can see, I have some holes. I need to make sure that these holes here don't end up leading into the rest of the big cave. Because there's a big naughty cave knocking around here. Let me find it and I'll show you it. Yeah, for example, one of the things we're going to have to do is block this little waterfall here. Because I do not want the axolotls accidentally coming down here. And meeting up with old mate the guardian who likes to live down here. Because I am yet to deal with old mate because he's scary. He's a scary boy. Although I do have a little bit of a farm on the gun. With Gandun here. Up there is where the Guardian's castle is. And we'll be tackling that in a future episode. Oh, it's scary when you look up. Like, because I haven't placed many torches up ahead. Just doing on the bottom here to stop mobs spawning. But yeah, it's a spooky, scary place down here. But before I get too scared, I'm going to go ahead and make my way up here. Ooh, hello, friend. What's going on? You being friendly, friend. I like these dudes. They always chat to you. Look at them. Hello. Always happy to see you in there. I love them. Oh, you creep out. Where do you come from, like? I'm in single player now. I can run away from you. I love me not having a 300 millisecond ping. I mean, it did mean the cat went bye bye, which is unfortunate, like, but I can run away from creep out. So it is what it is. Back in the sea cave. Regarding the axolotl stuff, I think this one here, if we dive in here, we can see that this opens up to be a huge underground, underwater flooded cave. And I need to make sure that either I wall this up here, you know, I might do like a glass or something so we can see, you know, that there is a cave back here. 
or I need to go through this entire cave and make sure that there is absolutely zero holes that lead into some dangerous place that the axolotls could die in. See, this looked like a hole, but it's not. There's no hole there. That's good. It actually looks like I've either went through and sealed up all of those holes previously, or there's no holes in this sea cave. So we can leave this little sea cave open for the axolotls to swim in and have a nice little bit of habitat. I do need to go ahead and get some air, because that is part of my habitat. Oh my god. Slope it all up. But there is one I remember from a previous episode that leads out into a cave. I'll check if it's up here or not. Again, that's the waterfall I jumped up earlier. If we make our way into this pool, there's no holes in here, are there? Any holes looking about? None that I can see, so I think we've got a safe... Oh no, this pool opens up to the side here. Any holes over here? There's a hole at the front here, but I think that just connects to another side pool. Ah, it does. Happy days. What about up the top here? Any sneaky exits? Well, in that case... Let me go ahead and block this up here. And now we can see that this cave pool is safe. For axolotls to swim and live their best lives in. See, let's pop out of this hole. What's going on, everybody? I'm an axolotl and I'm going to jump into that pool or that waterfall and go down to that pool. Right, we're at the top now, so we've got a pool there and a pool here. I think I was just in this pool. Yeah, and I think I just blocked that up. So yeah, this is a safe pool. We're safe all the way up to the top. Or at least we will be once I do a bit of that action. Stop it from flooding our other side. Hang on, is there a hole there? There is a hole there. See, patch that. And the axolotls want to be sneaking out of there. Now, I have just destroyed some water over here, so hopefully that means I can easily get up. If not, I'll build myself a tidy little staircase up. Oh, I will need to build a staircase here. I remember I always used uh, water to get up here. There we go. We've got a nice little staircase up here. Staircase up to the very tippity top pool. And I do not believe that there's any holes in this tippity top pool. Now, this one is safe as. But imagine being an axolotl, right? You just hop out of here and you're like, oh, I want to go have a look what's over here. Oh, pool directly below. Let me jump down. I'm a happy, fun axolotl. Yay! Ooh, this is a fun little sea pool. But we are going to have to do something about the sea part of that pool there. We might have to put a big glass wall up here. I don't particularly want the axolotls going out. Maybe if they introduce sharks, I don't want the sharks coming in, eating me axolotls, you know? Right, I think if, like, see, like, little holes like this we're going to have to follow, and if they lead into the sea, just glass them up. Oh, I think I've got a hole here. I think this is the one I was looking for that leads into a big scary cave. Yeah, see, big scary cave. Let me pop a torch there to make sure this little area is lit. Might even put a bonus torch there, just to doubly make sure. And then if we swim our way back through here, we'll block it off with this block and this block. And now, hopefully, this is a nice, safe little axolotl cave pool. Oh, what we got in here? Is this just an axolotl hideout? Why, I didn't mind an axolotl hideout. They can have mad little sections. That's all good with me. But you never know when you follow one of these and it leads down into a dodgy cave or up into the sea. For example, I think this one, all right, it's leading up into the ocean here. Scary dolphins. And it was going down as well, so this may end up leading down. Oh, this is, oh, this is leading into the bloody... This is the glowing cave, this like. I'll have to remember this if I ever want to farm any more glowing. I just come into here. Oh, not that close to the little lava block. That'll do, that'll do. Hey, glowing squid, do you want to come over and say hi? No? Okay. I'll murder you instead then. Give me your glowing. Yeah, I'm either going to have to scout all of this out or wall it up one of the two. Until then, I'm just going to kill some more glow squids and meet you back at the house. Okay, so I may be a bit lost in this little cave here. Just went the same way. Oh my, I am actually lost. Oh, freedom at last. Oh, finally oot. Look at that beauty of a hoose right there. I'll see you up in there where the beds are. I was just doing there where that dolphin's just left. Next to the beds now. And I just want to go ahead, chuck some stone in here. Well, not there, but in here maybe. Get all of that stone put away. Let's put the rest of this away, including placing the ore that I've got in here as well. And we'll quickly ring the nighttime bell before we jump into our bunk beds and have ourselves a mad little keep. And wake up on our balcony ready to face a whole new day. And you know what? I haven't done a speed run yet for where I'm going to go. So let's do that. Quick, as fast as you can, Miggly, make this first bend. It's the one that counts. Need more snake and need more snake. And that was decent. That was decent. Catch this wall. Straight ahead. Oh, we are flying now. I need to take a sharp right. Ooh, that was a tidy, tidy little turn. All right, catch this wall. And then we need to fly straight down here. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Keep going, doing. Keep going, doing. You got one more lift. And then you're doing at the bottom. And we can start calling time, but not quite yet. Right, three, two, one. Time. All right, how are we doing there? Come back here, boat. I want to take you with me where I'm going. And for those of you that caught the last episode, this is the old canal that I've cut through the mountains. It's going to connect the motorway to the skelly farm and 
all the way through here to the other side of spawn. Now let me quickly use some chick here because I want to quickly jump through here and do a bit of a lighting sesh. Let's go lighting sesh, lighting sesh. Did he just blow up my torch? What a guy. Let's go, I've got an army of baby zombies behind us apparently. <laughs> go on creep, I'll blow them up. <laughs> yes, get got. See you later creeper. Uh, let's go ahead, get in here. Blow that creeper up. Oh no, that's right. I don't have 37 milliseconds ping, therefore I can actually run away from creepers. No, I must admit I am quite enjoying just sort of running about, lighting everything up, not actually killing any mobs just yet. I will, eventually. It's not yet. Hello, bat. Oh, I haven't seen the new bats. Hello, friend. You look well mint. Look at you with all your little pixels knocking about. That's more than eight polygons, I reckon. Well more. Look at these. Bunch of fools completely forgot about us. Uh, let's do a bit of COD zombie action. Bit of schnecking and weaving. Bit of bobbing and schnoovin'. And I think this is half decently lit up now, this little cave. So I think now is the time. We start luring all of the mobs over to here. I think this might be a tidy little trap. Let me just push them all in. Anybody that thinks they're clever. You get pushed into there and then yees. Come over here. Come on. Pathfind your clever little mobs. And then come over here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to be clever. Ruined it. I was supposed to pile them all up and then blow the creeper up that's in there, but I forgot uh, about the creeper. That's <laughs> well, it was a very, very well executed half big plan, wasn't it? Well, we haven't finished executing it yet. Hello, creeper! <laughs> Get the creeper out of the other dirty work, and you don't even blow up any blocks. Brilliant. All right, stabby boy, let's clear out these enemies. Including this bonus creeper here. Let's see if I can actually fight the creeper. Boom! Like now, matter. Get crit shot. Oh, I can even just duck and deave them. Watch! One in the back, one in the front. <laughs> oh, man. Zero milliseconds ping is grand like. It is zero, isn't it? Well, I got a five bar anyway, so yeah, I'll take that as zero. But I wanted to go ahead, light up this cave because. I was initially just going to flood this and have it as like an actual canal, you know, like with water and stuff. But I know from the other water sections of the canal slash motorway that I've built that it's really slow. So I'm thinking about replacing all of this stone with blue ice instead of making it flood with water. What do you reckon? I'm genuinely curious, let us know. There's a little bit of testing I'll do beforehand though. I'll do that little bit of testing after this. But the reason I've came through this canal here, not only just to get some torches spread around this ravine so nothing spawns above us and ends up dropping and blowing up the bridge, you know, we'll try and avoid something like that from happening. We'll try to at least a little bit. I noted when I was editing the video last time that when I went into the sea cave over here, this end of spawn next to the purple crystal short form. Yes, I got it right. I got that wrong like six times in the last episode and I'm the one that named it. <laughs> There's a sea cave around here, and I spotted a geode in there. And as you can probably imagine, I need a lot of geode materials. So where's the sea cave? I think this is it. And then I went in here, and I saw a glowing squid. And I was like, oh, there it is. There it is. Not the glowing squid, but there's the geode that I saw. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that easily. I actually remembered where it was. Wow. Cool. Is there already light in here? It's already lighting here. Well, let's cover this bit of water up. I wonder if this is one I have a screenshot of. But I do have a few from other server peeps that were like, oh yeah, I found a geode here. If you want it, make lean things like that. Or if this is just someone's half finished geode mine. You know what I'm thinking? It's kind of wild, right? That geode, that purple crystal shard form is very close to this geode as well. Yeah, someone's definitely been here and just been like, yeah, nah, don't care about the geode. I might have those screenshots somewhere saved. I might not. Doesn't matter. I know where they are anyway. Let me quickly light this up. Squeeze past the lava. What's that? That's a lot of stuff right there. All the spider webs. And a little spawner with all the torches on. Little poison boys. I tell you what, they are some mad caves under spawn. Like, absolute mental. Anyway, before I forget where this geode is, let's go and mine it. And I know I said there wasn't going to be any more replay mod, but there'll be bits here and there, just like not a lot of it. Like it'll be very infrequent. Because if you didn't catch that part of the last episode, it just takes a lot out of the computer doing those renders. And it, I, it ends up like quadrupling the time it takes to actually make these videos, which is already a bit of a struggle to keep up with anyway, to be honest with you. <laughs> but anywho, I hope you enjoy this little mad replay mod 
footage of me mining this geode. I hope I managed to make it look cool. Or at least better than a jump cut. Wait, one last look around. Can you see anything? Uh, looks like it's all good. We don't have any leftover geode materials here. We just have a hole that I found myself in. I'm back good, it's all good. But yeah, I don't think there's any smooth basalt. That's usually the one that gets past us. Like, I usually end up with a chunk of smooth basalt somewhere. And now we just have a geode hole. The way I like it. A few extra of these brocks, bloke, but it's just a one a day, isn't it? Hold up. I, I, hang on, hang on. I didn't, I didn't realise I actually can get these. Ooh, new decoration block. Well, well, well. Let me collect all of these and I'll get back to you. Ah! Can you get the little ones? Ooh, you can get the little ones as well. Oh, well, I guess there's a reason to like go to the purple crystal shard farm and shop, charge some purple crystal craft. <laughs> <laughs> I always end up saying that wrong. Yeah, look, I accidentally mined one more of these and then just went in absolute rage mode and mined the rest of them, therefore. There's going to be no more shards growing in this hole here. Archaeologists will discover this in decades and centuries and millennia to come and be like, why dare holding ground and floating crafting table? Now, my plan to get out of here is not just to dig up and get back into the sea cave. It's to find the purple sh crystal shard farm. You know, see if we could link these two up together and have a mega shard farm. You know what I mean? Now, obviously that last point isn't happening. We've got a mad little staircase here. Must have been some orb there. But from there, we swam in that direction. So I'm thinking the crystal shard farm's basically just over here somewhere. But I think it's quite far down, the actual purple crystal shard farm. So hopefully it's down here and we just sort of stumble upon it, maybe. Otherwise I'm going to be lost in these caves forever. Right, we're officially doing, I imagine, where someone found some diamonds. Did they leave any diamonds? Well, they're a bit lazy in their digging. Is this a Conrad hole? No, it's not. Maybe it's a post nether Conrad hole. So I should probably look around before just jumping like that. Yeah, the purple crystal shard farm must be above us. Unless it's through here. Sneaky little purple crystal shard farm? Nah, not quite. Clouds are tough, though. Well, damn it. Now i got to find me way out of another cave. But this one, you know what? There might just be something in here. Hello? Freedom? No, no freedom. Just entombment. If we continue just digging straight up, we should be fine. Yeah, no bother with we'll Uber too. And we can safely say that that's not the way to go. What about doing here? Is this the way to go? Because I have explored this cave system and I do recall like parts of it. Like there's a mad little ravine section that had a bit of diamond in it. Which is now mine, so I can't use that for reference. But I think that was over here. Like I think this was the diamond here. Like I think this block here was diamond and I mined it and I was like oh yeah one diamond and that's all there was so then do we go in here is this where the purple crystal shard farm is found some more lava no purple crystal shard farm yet though I see a I see a man-made staircase does this lead to the old purple crystal shard farm oh I see bud we're at least back somewhere vaguely familiar as long as there's any spiders knocking a boot. See if we can find our way into a cave. Well, I see this. I don't know if this is good or bad. I just know I didn't do it. I just went in a circle. <laughs> oh, well, what's down this way? This isn't part of the circle that I've just been in. I'm pretty sure the purple crystal shard farm isn't part of, like, the mineshaft part of this cave system here. Oh, we got some railway here. We haven't came across any railway yet. Or well, somewhere new, at least. <laughs> Ooh, a rail cart. Any leftover loot in here? Oh, there is some powered rail. I'll take that. I won't have to craft it if I ever want to build it. Oh, hello. This looks like a friendly little cave. Ooh, and some bonus chains. I might grab those, like. Give me chain, please. There we go. I've removed all the supports from this platform now. So it should be nice and sturdy. There's no light up there, so I don't want to go up there. Because the purple crystal shard farm's definitely got light around it. That's not light. That's just these vines that are there. Yeah, purple crystal shard farm. Not that away. Ooh, look at this. Is this a dodgy uh, connection? It is, look. It's doing it there as well. Or is this a new block? I think it's supposed to be doing that. Let's have a look. If I chop it up, is it just a... Whoa, oh, it's doing this where it is. Well, the skeleton can enjoy that fence. I was just going to say, is it just a normal fence? And it just thinks there's a block there. But I'll take that as a yes. It's a bloody highly strung fence, I tell you that. Where's these rail lords? Right, let's follow these rail lines. Where do they lead? There must be some buried treasure behind this wall here for the lead into the wall. Ah, uh, there must, must be nothing of value over there. That's why they stopped. Who would have figured? Oh, we've got a little staircase up. Does this mean this leads to the purple crystal shard farm, maybe? I like this little room. But it doesn't go anywhere, so it doesn't lead to the purple crystal shard farm. Ooh, what's this? Do I see either emerald or diamond up here? Oh! 
Bonus diamond, let's go. Let's light this up. Make sure anybody comes and blows what up. Destroys with fun and whatnot. And then we snack our way back round here. We dig straight down and we say, give me diamond. That's a lot of diamond blocks, that as well. Man cannot complain about getting seven diamond of the deep slate variety, is that? I'm still going to check and maybe make sure if there's eight or not, but nah, there wasn't. I did like the look of the other side of this ravine for no particular reason other than it's different to where I was earlier. Even though I'll probably come down here and be like, oh, this is where I was. Oh, this is where I was earlier. I remember this room. Okay. <laughs> it was just a bit darker up there the last time we were in here. Did I go? Yeah, I went that way and I saw the lines. I think I came from that way, so let's jump up this way. See if we can get to the purple crystal shard form or not. Well, let's see what's going on up here. It looks a bit dark. Oh, no. There's actually a torch right there. Now, I haven't been here because I would have stole all the chains if I had. Do I remember this? Is this where we fought the Withers? It could be the same cave system where we fought the Withers, you know. Oh, I don't want to go over there, if nothing else. I'll tell you that for now. Reet here, reet now. Let me chuck a Yui. If it was that cave system, it would have been here. Ooh. Some friendly water over there. You know what? I'm curious what's over here. Oh my, it's going to kill me. Just like it did the cat. It's going to kill me. Ah, I'm too scared. I'm running away. I'm sorry. All right, can I go back? Should I just sneak? Because I'm curious and I should. I want to have a look. That looks mental through there. I mean, look, I'm just going to YOLO it until the guardian comes. Or the warden or whatever his face is. Oh, no, I shouldn't because look, it is lit up. I wanted to see if it was lit up. What was that? I thought I heard something. Yeah, they really don't like it when I light it up, do they? Let me sneakily sneak all the way over here so I can see if this is uh, my base or some stuff like that. Ah, so is this my base or is this just like another random bit of the deep dark? So let's take a... Ah! Run! I was going to say that looks a little bit different. Sheet! Nope, 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 Nope. I know nothing about the Guardian other than, or the Warden, other than they absolutely slapped Brad all over the shop. I think I'm far enough away from that now. I can just go, hey cave, what's going on here? Now, this cave looks a bit rough, like this could be the Wither Cave. Oh, there's more scariness over there, and I don't think that's leading me anywhere I want to go, so let's go back. Oh, hi Diamond. I'll take a you. Oh, I'm going to have to free up some inventory, aren't I? Rotten flesh be gone. Oh, I have to go back past the... The thing? Oh, not the thing. I don't like the thing. It's scary, the thing. Oh, no, I really can't be blinded when I go back. Because that was really sketchy, that little corner there. All right, where's the thing? You're the thing, aren't you? Where's my little safety hole back there? What was that? What's that? Oh, I think it's a glow, a glow squid. Let me see. No. I kind of want to go in here with the glow squid. Yeah, I feel safer in here. Hi, your glow squid friend. Thank you for your glow squid ink. Oh, and this is literally just... A hole for a glow squid to chill and bait you into. Okay, noted. Let me just sneak past here without waking anybody up. I'm probably far enough away from it I can stand up, but I'm scared. Like I say, there's a really sketchy bit coming up. <laughs> and I do not want to be being chased while that happens. Well, let's go. I'm standing up. Oh, I'm shifting again now because we are at the sketchy bit. Look at this. Sketchy or what? Imagine if I had a bloody warden chasing us while I was doing this. I'd be... Deed as a dolly. That still does look mad through there, like. Look at the zombie hanging out. Anywho, let's quickly run away, run away! As fast as we can, even though I don't know where I'm running to. Is that diamond? No, no, it isn't. There's no wardens coming after us. Can I trigger the warden by, like, shooting an arrow over there or something? Where is it? All right, so the thing I want to trigger is all the way over there. Can I get an arrow over there? Bit low. We aim it up here. It hits the roof. Okay. Nah, that was pretty much bang on. I was hoping to like... I don't even know what the warden or whatever looks like, to be honest with you. I'm sure he's a spooky mofo. And we will be tackling the warden, by the way. The one that's under my hoose. That might be the finale. The finale is either going to be a nice, well-planned thing, or I lose everything in rage quit. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get some chains stolen from this little mine here. Ooh, look at that. Some diamond. Let's just mine that. Why not? We'll leave it on top of the spider webs while I go ahead and mine all of these chains. Oh, look, we've got proper little wooden pillars. Oh, is that freedom up there? At this point, I just want to be out of this cave. I haven't got a clue where, what do you call it, might be. 
I haven't got a clue where the Portable Crystal Shard farm is at this point. I can see bridges, I can see this way's up, this way's down, this way's left, this way's right. This bridge doesn't connect, so it could well be one of mine. Is this the little bit of ravine where I ended up mining that bit of diamond from? I'm just grasping for anything at this point. Ooh! Well, well, well! It's just a shame that my inventory's full. I just heard a creeper fall behind me. Come here, baby! Ha <laughs> ha, got you. But you're good, didn't I? You can get swiped and all. <laughs> oh, hello, creeper. You wanna say good day? You wanna say uh, hello there? Hello there? Let me just plonk a torch in here, stop any more nasties spawning. And here we are, the big geode that I can't mine. Well, obviously, I can mine one little bit there, you know, you've got to. Oh, this is only a small geode as well. You know what? If I clear out all of this in the inventory that I didn't want, I may actually be able to mine this bad lad. All right, I think that should be a decent little inventory management there. Therefore, without replay mod this time, let's quickly mine this geode, or at least see how far we get. Well, you know what? I think I actually did it. Managed to mine this entire geode. One little bit I left there. Just looking to see if there's any other little bits. And I haven't actually had to waste any geode materials. Like, and it's nigh on perfect. I've only got one slot of each for blocks to go into. Well, let's quickly grab this block that I missed earlier. You get sloped up into my inventory. Oh, I missed a bit of smooth basalt. You get in there. Any more smooth basalt? Oh, there's a bit of smooth basalt in my face as I was saying that. Now, let's stand over this side and then have a look and see. Have we missed anything over here? It does near look like it. Looks like we've got everything. And once again, now all we need to do is get out of here. Which is easier said than done. Hello, Creeper. I think at this point, I'm either going to go ahead and miraculously find the purple crystal short form. I'm either going to find an exit of some sort. Or I'll find another geode and then just dig straight up with it. Hang on, is this the spawn one? Is this the spawn cave where we fought the wither? This actually looks more like it though. It is? It is! I know where I am, I'm in spawn! Yeah, yeah, I recognise this bit here. When I saw that, I was like, I know where it is. This is where... Oh, yeah, 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 you can see. This is where we fought three with us at once. There was a lot of action against this here. This was a pillar that went straight up, and this whole area here was just like a tiny slit. I remember having to swim up this waterfall, and as I swam through here, a creeper blew up. You made it. And this was just like a tiny little bit that you couldn't even see up. This was all solid rock here. Do you remember those times? Because you seem to have paid shovel. I remember when Pat was slapping the sheet out of the wither with that bad lad. You know what? Get a scoopy boy slap and I'll leave you be. Oh, well, damn. Out of the three options I thought I was going to come across. Actually, this is an exit of some sort, isn't it? But I definitely didn't think I was actually going to rock up in the <laughs> in the cave that we fought the three withers in. Well, the four withers. We just fought three withers at once, you know? Because we're big hard lads like that. Well, let's scan in the little uh, hide you to cave here. We'll see what kind of goodies were left. I can't take any of these goodies. <laughs> I, I do want some of it though. The block of coal sounds canny. Right, I will give up the arrow for the 25 blocks of coal. And I'll chalk this chook chick. Now I know how to get up. You just got up this waterfall here. And as you can see, you've got the lovely sky above you there. Let's go. Straight up the waterfall and into spawn. Here we are. Look at those lovely bridges. That's how you know you're at spawn. And then you have Stotzi's big bridge there. Look at that beaut. It's so big you can barely see it in camera. Or fit it in frame, whichever way you want to say it. Well, let's kind of run here onto the little sketchy path. And then once you do a bit of sketchy path action, you can jump up. And now you're on the normal path. The purdy path. And here we are. It's Stotzi's Hoos! Oh, never get to all seen the bigger Mars there, like. And oi, I know Stotzi's wish for you was not for you to hang about on the roof. So, my friend, you need to get off the little roof here. Off the roof, I say. Off. I'll slap you. I will slap you off this roof if, it, if you won't just get off. Well, you're the one who wouldn't get off, isn't it? Aye. I'll take that one spit. But that's all you're getting. One spit. Be more like your friend here. And dangle in peace. Oh, poor beige llama. At least you're not dangling on the front there, you know. The front of the facade that never really got finished. As you can see. <laughs> I didn't realise he had a, a wee among us and a big among us. It must have fell out the backpack. 
That must be where these are spawning from. You got anything good in this chest? Ooh, some gold mugs, which I can't take. Stop looking. But anyway, yeah, look, facade. There's no roof and there's no bloody arse on it. Although it does have a nice wall of trees, like. It's a bit of a hedge action, isn't it? Now, I'm not particularly planning on finishing this on behalf of Big Stootsie, like. There's only one build I plan on finishing on behalf of someone else, and it's that the pink mushroom hoose from the mushroom tip himself. A Jess ho! Oh, there's a boat here. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of boats here. <laughs> this must be where Jason's bloody... This must be the ferry port to get out of the mushroom hoose. Well, let's cut across the land here. And I'll show you the other side of me little canal. And it'll give you an idea of what the canal's going to look like as well when it's all done. Which we're going to be doing next episode, by the way. In between episodes. Ooh, look at that. Absolute distraction right there. That is a beaut and a half right there. Look at that big lift. Mwah. Mwah. Spawn's looking good as well. Like, I love this hedge here. Little hedgerow around the back of the spawn building. You got the green hoose. Oh, there's a bell up there. <laughs> oh, yes. And then Pat's hoose. I think if we have a look around, we'll be able to see just in the distance there. The old original spawn motorway. Well, it's not the original because I redesigned it. But I, as I was saying there before I got... Ooh, chicken eggs. Oh, I can't pick them up right now. Before I got distracted twice, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and widen the canal there that you saw me running through. That's only three wide. And harvest heaps of geodes. So when we get round to doing our canal, it looks a little something like this. As you can see, it needs to be five wide. I'd like it to be at least five high. And we're going to need a lot of geode material to get this done. Not an insignificant amount of geodes need to be mined. Well, let's anyway, let's get up the big old ramp here. And by ramp, I mean lift. <laughs> and I suppose we could do a bit of a speedrun, couldn't we? Let's go, let's time it. Speedrun back to the hoose. We've got a dodgy little diagonal curve. You can never take speed through there. We've got another diagonal curve, which is going to take another bit of speed with the bus. And we don't get a maximum speed out of this while here either. Oh, especially if you're schnecking. Stop schnecking. Oh, it's mostly diagonals, this route, like. You do get one final little kind of the straight. It pushes you off, and you do a quick 160 in. <laughs> Almost half decent. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, I said almost half decent commentary until I said 160 instead of 360 at the end, but it was just, ah, the bloody mare won it. You know what? To make myself feel better, I'm going to go say, Hi, you beers, Loma! How's things? <laughs> you bunch of bloody leggings. And, and while we're here riding the llama that doesn't want us on him, I'm going to go ahead, end the episode, and see you next week. Toodles! <laughs>